My name is Alicia Shukard, and this is my speech on the pediatric battle. Slide two. So we're going to take a deeper look at the battle that these children face when they are diagnosed with cancer. We're also going to look at how this disease can mentally and physically affect these kids. We're also going to look at the toll that it can take on their friends and their family. Finally, we're going to see what the long-lasting effects of this disease can be and the toll that it takes lifelong on these kids. Slide number three. How many of you have kids, grandkids, or even godchildren? What would you do if this hit this that close to home and one of them was diagnosed with cancer? In 2014, 15,780 children and adolescents ages 0 to 19 were diagnosed with cancer. Of that, 19,060 children died. Slide number four is emotions. Being diagnosed with cancer can bring out numerous emotions from the kids, the families. The kids often ask, you know, why me? What did I do to deserve this? And they're just really confused as to, you know, I'm nine years old. Why was I diagnosed? As a parent, you always, always have to keep your spirits up for your kids. This disease is going to consume you and your family along with your kiddo. And if you don't keep your spirits up and you don't fight the fight with your child, it's going to consume everybody. And keeping your spirits up is half the battle. If you, you're, I mean, your body's going through all these changes and it's being struck by chemo, radiation, surgeries, it's freaking out. And if you have such low spirits, all of that is just going to consume the kiddo. And it's really, really hard to make that struggle back up and to beat this thing. Uh, the best advice that I can give is to never give up, no matter what. Slide number five. I'm going to talk a little bit about my personal experience. When I was 11 years old, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma. Osteosarcoma is a form of bone cancer, and I was diagnosed with it in my right tibia. Now, I have had... 41 surgeries, and it's not going to be the end of it. I'll have lifelong surgeries. Um, I have a titanium rod in place from my lower femur all the way down through most of my tibia. I have maybe like that much of my tibia left. And it, I don't, I only have my kneecap. I don't have my knee. Um, so I've had to endure surgeries when I was growing, uh, when I had metal poisoning. And for me, lifelong, I, I can't run. Um, the weather here really, really messes with me. When it's cold, it's stiff, and it's really, really hard. But at the same time, got to keep your spirits up, right? Now, my parents and my family were my biggest supporters, and they were there every step of the way, and they still are to this day. So I can't ask for anything more than that. Slide number six is my conclusion. Before I talk about my conclusion, I want to touch a little bit more on the lifelong effects. Um, chemo can, you can lose your hearing, you can lose your sight. Um, myself, I have lost hearing and I have lost some of my sight, but I'm not too sure if it's from family genetics or the chemo because all my family has horrible vision. But anyways, um, I also have heart problems, and when I get pregnant, I will be a high-risk pregnancy because my heart can just stop when I'm trying to lift weights. I'm not allowed to lift by myself. I can't do a lot of things by myself because of the danger that my heart is in. So that's just a little bit of the lasting effects that I've experienced. There's so, so much more. Now, for the conclusion, in my eyes, too many kids are having to fight this disease every year. 
and we may not be able to prevent it, but we can help support and be there for them every step of their way with their families. And that's what's involved me in wanting to do nursing and be a pediatric oncology nurse. I think that even if I can just help just that little, little percentage of their battle, I think it'll definitely get things going for them to say, hey, look, she's done it. I can do it. And keeping the faith is the strongest tool when someone you know or yourself is battling any type of cancer. It doesn't have to be little kiddos. And best advice I can say is don't ever take life for granted. While you're breathing and running and enjoying life, there's someone around that is suffering and trying to battle for their lives. So never take that for granted. My sources were um, for Hollander, and that was the uh, the 19 or 15,780 kids have been diagnosed. And then Goodman is my source for the fact that 1,960 ch children have been killed by this disease in 2014. So keep that in mind. Love life.